Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, DJ. How are you today? Good. I'm doing okay. Thanks. How was your day? Did you have a good day? I have a busy day. Busy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So today is July 8, 2020. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about yesterday's topic. Do you remember uh, yesterday's topic? What was the main topic yesterday? We talked about direct and indirect questions. Okay, good. So we were um, we were making emphasis in indirect questions. Um, what is the main difference between direct and indirect questions? If you have to explain to somebody, how would you explain that? If I say, what time is it? Is that direct or indirect? Direct. Di direct. Direct. What time is it? How will you transfer that question to indirect? Will you tell what me time what time it is? is? Okay. Could you tell me you tell? what time it is? Do you know what time it is? Do you happen to know what time it is? So there are different forms to make an um, indirect question. Do you know? Uh, can you tell me? Do you happen to know? So um, when we're making indirect questions and there is verb to be, where do you place verb to be? Where is verb to be when you make an indirect question? At the end. At the end. On the, on the At the end. That is correct. At the end. Very good. Okay. So let me um, let me show you this. Da -da -da. Share. Share. Let me see this. Okay, do you guys see the document? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, in this image, they mention polite questions, which is the same as indirect questions. I need a volunteer to read the introduction, please. Person who wants to practice reading. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Polite questions. Sometimes we introduce questions with another question, like could you tell me, or do you know, as a more indirect way of asking for information, and to some more polite. These questions within questions, questions. Are, are common, uh -huh. In more formal speech, they are similar to indirect questions, but they have a question mark at the end. Okay, good. Thank you. So, as you can see, as she was reading, here we have uh, when you start an indirect question, you start with, Could you tell me? Do you know? And when you say, could you tell me, or when you say, do you know, that automatically uh, makes it into a question. Okay, can someone else read the examples, please? Volunteer? Only one, okay. only one. Where does, where does he like? Do okay. you know? Uh -huh. Do you okay. know where he like? where he lives. Okay, so in the first part, she read, 
Where does he live? Do you know? How many questions do we have there? How many questions did she read at, at, two. at the first? Two questions. Oh. Now, an indirect question, you're making two questions in just one. And that's yeah. why she says, do you know where she lives? Please notice that only the first part has an, an auxiliary. The second part is normal. Okay, can you read the second example, please? When is he arriving? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me? Okay. Can you tell me when he is arriving? Okay, very good. Thank you. So once again, in the first part, she's making two questions. When is he arriving? Can you tell me? Now, if you want to make an indirect question, you make the two questions in just one. And you say, can you tell me when he is arriving? If you notice, when you're making a direct question, we make it in the traditional structure. When is he arriving? So you include the verb to be at the beginning. When is he arriving? Now, when you make an indirect question, you say, can you tell me when he is arriving? And then you switch verb to be to the last part. Um, any questions so far about the introduction? No. No? Okay, so look here on the left side, we have direct questions. Direct questions are usually learned first. So may I have a volunteer to read the first four questions, please? Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Saira, please. Where is he, she from? Uh mm huh. -hmm. And the direct question is where she's from. Okay. Can you can you read the 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 four the four questions we have here? Where is she from? How old is she? Saira. Okay. Uh huh. What is the second question? Okay, how old is she? Uh huh. Number three. Number three. What time is it? And the last one. How far do you did he run? Okay, good. Thank you. So once again, the questions side I just read, those are direct questions. Where is she from? How old is she? What time is it? How far did he run? Okay. Um, may I have another volunteer to read the last four questions? So hey, teacher, I read that. Okay, please. Okay. Does he like football? Uh -huh. um, will it rain tomorrow? Uh -huh. Did Mr. Smith phone? Okay. Has he got the address? The address. All right, very good. Thank you. So as you can see, the first four questions that Saida read and the last four that um, Edward read, those are direct. If you wanna transfer direct questions into indirect, you need to include what we have in the middle. Can you tell me, could you tell me, do you know? Now, when you're saying, can you tell me, could you tell me or do you know, that automatically makes it into a question. So, can you tell me where she's from? Could you tell me how old she is? Do you know what time it is? Can you tell me how far he ran? So, when you're making indirect questions, it is necessary, imperative, that you start the question like this. And then the complement will be like something positive. Any questions here? No questions. Okay, so as you can see this here, yes. So it says it's a more indirect way of asking for information and to sound more polite. Yesterday I was mentioning um, that when you go to a job interview, you um, you make questions. You want to sound polite. So this is a good way to, uh, to make questions. Any questions or comments?
Um, me teacher, uh, I yes. have a question. Can, um, can you share the, the picture or the uh, PDF? Sure, sure. Please. Okay. I can, Thanks. yes. I will send it to you right now. Let me see this here. Uh -huh. Where's this? Where is this? Hold on. Where is that screen? It's right here. Okay, so there you have it. Let me see this here. Move a little bit. Okay. Um, so the first exercise you guys will do is to practice uh, indirect questions. Have you ever had a job interview in English? Have you? No. 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 Okay. Yes. All right, good. So the ones that uh, the person that said yes, she knows that uh, when you go to a job interview in English, just like in Spanish, they give you a chance for you to ask questions. Like, can you please tell me how often uh, I have a break? Do you happen to know how frequent they have promotions? So um, let me see this here. I will assign you to working pairs. One of you will be the person from the company and the other one is going to be the candidate. The candidate, as well as the person from the company, they need to make questions. So everything um, is understandable. So I will ask you to work in pairs and just discuss the questions that you might find in a job interview. So the same questions you make in Spanish are exactly the same questions in English. Just make sure that you're practicing with indirect questions. Are the instructions clear? Class, are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. The All right. Question, uh, do you send the question or we ask? No, uh, uh, you guys, um, you guys will work in pairs and you will try to make indirect questions that you would use in a job interview. Like you will say, do you know when this training starts? Could you tell me what the salary is? So questions that people usually ask in a job interview. Okay. Thank All right, so here we go. Juan Jose. Ok, 
Can you hear me, Juan Jose? You, you had this word. Ah, like a uh, deposition, like a uh, employee. Uh, employer. In, yes, I, I, I am the employee. The owner of the company, you know? Okay. Yes. For example, I. Lo que no me quedó claro qué es lo que tenemos que hacer en el grupo es practicarla con nosotros. Ajá, sí, así es. Bueno, ahí se conectó el teacher ya para que nos explique un poquito más. Eh, yo sí, sí entendí que, que había que practicarlo con nosotros mismos, las preguntas directas e indirectas. Yeah, just, just imagine that you go to a job interview and um, the company, they ask you, do you have any questions for us? And then the candidate makes questions. Could you tell me what the salary is? Do you know when the training starts? Can you tell me how many people you have in your office? So questions that you make in a job interview, whether you are the candidate or the company, it doesn't matter, just practice the questions. Are they clear? Saul, Marvin, and Juan Jose? Uh, I, I understand, teacher. Okay. So, solo de hacer las preguntas que usted haría en una entrevista de trabajo, usando indirect. Mm. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, you asking to us and we answer, right? Yes, right. Okay. That's okay. right. Okay. I'm asking, uh, I'm the director. I'm asking if you uh, have uh, experience working with children or young, uh, being a teacher from another school. You have experience being a teacher in how many years? So the question will be, could you tell me how many years of experience you have? Yes, exactly. Thanks, teacher. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be the question. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. No, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Available. Yeah. Noeli, what's your last name, Noeli? Paredes. Paredes. Okay. Good. Did you guys finish with the exercise? We are practicing. Okay, good. Yes. So let me find. 
save six right here. Every year. <laughs> Also, in the course learners have uh, always have um, <laughs> el entrenamiento training. training. Yes, training. Training. <laughs> and, okay. and the course center always have training, so we can ask. Uh, Okay, nice. Uh, okay, déjame ver qué otra pregunta puedo hacer. Uh, oh, what do you do? Uh -huh. Okay, I am um, um, I am a electrician, a technician in electricity. I I am working in housing. Oh. I have. I've been, I have been working for uh, 12, 12 years ago yeah, in, in, the, in this job. Not in this job, but in other jobs. <laughs> but doing um, the same thing with electricity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. Thanks. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, other question. Uh, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. You guys are finished? Teacher, I don't know why. Uh huh. Uh, uh, you send the the, the I, image. Yeah, but I you I don't receive, receive it really. No. Are you in the WhatsApp chat? No. Oh, okay. Because uh, I don't know what what kind of what chat because Sylvia uh -huh. create one one chat, but the first one. Okay. Now, uh, the um. Inglés Corporativo sent everybody an email with different links, links to the YouTube channel, links to access the platform, and also a link to a WhatsApp group. So if you do it from oh, your okay. cell phone or from your computer, you click in that link and automatically it will include you to the, to the WhatsApp uh, group. Oh, okay, okay. So what you need to do is go, go to your email when we finish the class, or if you can mm -hmm. do it now, you can do it now, and uh, click on the link um, for the WhatsApp chat group, and automatically it will include you in the group. Ah, okay. okay. But if you Thank want, you. you can send me a, 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 a message like, hello, whatever, and I can resend it to your number right now if you wish. Mm, okay. All right. So let's go back to the main session. All right. Um, were you able to make questions, indirect questions for you to use in a, in a job interview? Were you? Can you mention one question you will make to the interviewer or the recruiter? What will be one question? Can you hear me? Yes. yes, teacher. Okay, can you give me one example of a question you will make the person interviewing you? Mm, will you tell me what the schedule is? Okay, can you tell me what the schedule is? Very good, nice. Uh, another question, someone else? Can 
lunch is. Okay, can you tell me when the lunch is? Very good. Someone else, another question you would ask in a job interview? Imagine you go to a job interview next week and they, and they ask you, do you have any questions for us? What will you ask the company? How do you tell me? Uh huh. Could you tell me how many hours would you like this work? Okay. Could you tell me how many hours you would like me to work? Good. Yeah. Clara. And uh, could you tell me what activities do you do at the day? Okay. Could you tell me what activities you do during the day? Remember okay. that the, the second part sounds uh, without the, the auxiliary. Very good. Someone else. Okay, could you tell me what, what benefit do you offer? Okay. Could you tell me what benefits you offer? You offer. Oh, okay. Now, if you're saying uh, indirect questions, the second part or the complement, whichever you want to call it, does not include uh, the auxiliary. So could you tell me what benefits okay. you offer? Very good, nice. Anybody else? Anybody else, anybody else? Can you tell me why you need this work? Okay, could you tell you me tell why you need this work? Good. Mm -hmm. Someone else? Someone else, someone else? Uh-huh. Can you tell me what are your strengths? Good. Okay, can you tell me what your strengths are? Can you tell me what your strengths are? Remember that verb to be goes at the end. So could you tell me what the strength, what your strengths are? Good. All right. Um, Anything else, any other questions you would ask in a job interview? No? Okay, so we'll make a pause and we're going to stop talking or practicing about indirect questions. We have a second exercise related to it, but that will come later. Um, if you notice, I sent you a set of questions to your, um, to the WhatsApp chat. Um, did you receive it? It's color yellow and it looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. It's about children. What is your opinion about children class? Mm -hmm. Opinion about what? Uh, about children. Oh. What is your opinion? They are beautiful. Yes. <laughs> they need a lot of responsibility. Uh-huh. Yes, they are a big responsibility. Right. And they demand, demand a lot of time. They demand a lot of time. Yes. Mommy this, daddy this, and they are always asking you for something. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, any other opinions about children? They are very imperative. Yeah. Yeah, they're very hyper. Yes. Okay. Any other opinions about children? Who in the group does not have children in this class? Who doesn't have children? I don't have it. Francisco, you don't, don't have, have kids. It. No. I don't have. Me too. So, Claudia, you don't have children. I don't have children. Gabriela, you don't have children either. I don't no. have children. Okay. So I think like half of the class does not have kids. Okay. That's 
That's kind of interesting. Okay, so um, I'm going to assign you to work in pairs again, but this time we're gonna be talking about children. Um, let me show you where this is, it's right here. So do you see the questions uh, there on the screen? Yes. Okay, so there are 10 questions that you guys will ask and answer, ask and answer. When we finish this, we go back to the indirect questions. So right now, feel free to use any structure, any type of language. And um, if you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation, you let me know. So let me assign you again. Uh, move to room four. Move to room four. And move to room four. All right, so you guys ready? Here we go. Work. I work in a uh, dolphin. Oh, okay. Okay. Do you in, live in Metapan? Yes, I live in, in Metapan. But you can know the picture, the questions, or no? Yeah, I share with you. Okay, tell me can the number. Yes, <laughs> tell me a question if you want. Uh, have you had much experience with children? Yes, I had experience because in this moment, I have to conserve, but... Yo traté, no sé si está bien en español. Mire, yo sí tengo, sí tengo eh, un hijo. No sé si es así se responde. I yes. do have mm, one child. I, have. I do. Sure. Ah, okay. I do have. When you're trying to make emphasis, you make a combination of do plus the verb. So oh. I do have a child. Si tengo un hijo. Uh -huh. 
Teacher, maybe, yes, I will have children. Yes, I will have children. If the information is connected with future, the question is good. No, 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 next is why. Or One not. more time. Uh, no, do you have or want children? Why? Because the children are very happy, very glad. Uh huh. You explain why, right? Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Entonces lo descuidan y ahí empiezan todos. Oh, yeah. I okay. agree. I am agree with you because uh, children has uh, a very responsibility that beginning that the the study, the medicine. Yes. Uh, a lot of things for children, maybe. Do you have and children, Syra? No, I don't have. <laughs> Francisco, you don't have children either. No, I don't have yet. Yeah. Okay. I want, I want one, but not yet. Okay. How old are you, Francisco? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah. So take your time. Okay. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. You only have a daughter for three months. Yes. <laughs> it's a bad experience she, or a good she, experience? She is my very experience, really. Oh. My, <laughs> my daughter is my my very experience. It, it's very, it's, it's new, it's in, it's uh, the life, the life is changed. It's very different. It's very, it's very different with the daughter. I think that your priority changes, right? Your life changes. Oh, complete. Uh, how old are you? How old are you? And how old are you, Gabriela and and Anna? Oh, I have twenty twenty three, and Anna yeah. too. Me too. Please, because I am in Caracas. I don't know how to say it. In <laughs> I don't know how to say. Carrie. In Carrie. Carrie, yes. Okay. I okay. love babies for that. Yeah, for and me too. About, okay. Uh, baby too. Because are beautiful. Uh, they do. Too. Creo que has. Okay. Ah, okay. No te había entendido. Ah. <laughs> ah, ahora ya entendí. <laughs> no es que no, no había entendido adolescentes y yo dije, ¿qué uh, dijo ahí? Uh -huh. Y niños. <laughs> y niños. <laughs> es que mi teléfono está quebrado, entonces no veo todas las palabras. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for me, uh -huh. I prefer babies. <laughs> It's more easy. Because yeah. daughters are very kids. Yeah. <laughs> They're hyper. <laughs> They're yes. hyper. <laughs> They all the time want to to play and mm -hmm. uh, and run and <laughs> do everything. <laughs> right. And babies only need eat. <laughs> yeah, they have different stages. What stages? Like uh, babies, toddlers, kids. So they go in different steps. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yep. So you prefer babies? Yes, I prefer babies. All right. Good. 
Um, <clears throat> could you tell me what what do you want to do after um, after do you finish your your study? Um, because uh, because. Um, What was the question you made, Benjamin? No, no. Uh, my question was, can you tell, can you tell me what, what do you want after do you finish your study? Okay, good. Uh, yeah. Can you, can you tell me what you want to do? Uh, I right. plan to... Right. Uh -huh. I plan to work in workshop to have experience. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice. Um, uh, uh, with this question, teacher, um, yep. just can I ask? Can you tell me what do you what do you want to do? Or can okay. you tell me what do you want to do after this? Okay, your question is good, except that you need to eliminate the auxiliary do from the second part. So your question should say, can you tell me what you want to do after you graduate, after you finish working? So can you tell me what you want to do? Ah, nice. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Right. Okay. Good. It's a good. No, I is, in this moment I study in in the Itca, but I will continue in San Salvador. Only in San Salvador had uh, engineer electricist, electricity engineer. And do you have a a, a study? But or? the National University study. At the university, National University had a, a electrician uh, engineering. Yes, but I had a problem because in this moment I started uh, another university. Oh. In... Okay. No. House. Which number are you guys doing? Are you guys number finished? Five? five? Number, number four, five, teacher. Okay. So, uh, uh, we answer number four. Do you do you think everyone shall have children? For me, the answer is not. Okay. Because because not uh, every every people are we have responsibility. Not have responsibility. All right. Mm -hmm. The next. <laughs> and what's your opinion of people who choose not to have children? Ooh. So what is the answer? Mm. For me, it's good because if their life. <laughs> uh huh. For me, it's and okay. They decided. <laughs> uh huh. For me, it's okay too. If they, if they prefer to spend their time by themselves, is is their decision. Exactly. Clara, okay. do you have children? No, teacher. <laughs> Noeli, do you have children? I'm Rebecca. No, teacher. Okay, so none of you three have children. Mm -hmm. no. No, but, no. But but you plan to have kids in the future. Do you? Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Maybe maybe not. <laughs> okay. All right. For me. Yeah, for me, two or three children. Two or three years. All right. And you, Rebecca? <laughs> I would like to have twins. Twins? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a pair of twins. 
<laughs> uh, everybody would like to have twins. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay, it's great. But it's a great, it's a great engine. It's difficult too. Yeah. But, um, but you, how, how many years you have spent at ICA? Only the years? Only the years, yes. Only the years I finally the technician bachelor's. Um, mm -hmm. I will continue engineering in San Salvador. But in this moment, I don't decide for the quarantine. It's uh, difficult. Yeah. Yeah, but for example, uh, at UCA, you can enter to the half to the year, to the second to the second semester period, or semester. Yeah. But I have another like problem because in in UCA is very expensive too. But I don't know how to equivalence for my matters. Uh, Your subjects. The Science. The subject is, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure the UTCA it doesn't have any subject. They didn't accept any subject. I will have to, to start the, at the beginning. From zero. Yeah. Las personas están en contra, deciden, Las que deciden no tener hijos están en contra de la vida. The, the people, the people, the, estas personas podríamos decir. These people, people, uh -huh. these people, these people are against life. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. The people are, these people. Are against life. Okay. Next, number seven. Number seven, what you understand? What, what you understanding of the terms children and children? No, childless. Childless? Um, childless. I know which is the difference. I know understand this what, more. What do you see? Children, children free? Children, children, child free. No, no sé cuál. Yeah, child is singular, children is plural. Ch childless, oh. sí, plural, plural. Yeah, child, child no, childless means sin hijos. Child oh. free is libre de hijos. Libre de hijos, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, and my my engineers get me classes recommended recommended the the UTLA because yeah for the sketching yes study yes for sketching you have a reason because you have to decide a day for studying the week and you study on Saturday and you had a uh, practicing yeah. Okay. For example, in my job, I know a lot of people that they study in at UTLA because they work Monday to Friday and they study Saturday and Sunday. But is, is my, is I want to, to the same, the, your, your co-workers. Mm -hmm. But, but it's, it's difficult. better if you start the next year. All right. Uh, were you able to finish all the questions? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me um, get the questions here. Um, Do you have or do you want children? How many of you have children in the group? Um, me, teacher. 
Benjamin, you have two girls, huh? Right. Okay. Someone else has children in the group? No one else has children in the group. So I must have a very young group then. Okay. Um, do, let's go to question three. Do you like children of all ages? Babies, toddlers, adolescents, or teenagers? Which one is your favorite? Babies, toddlers, or teenagers? For me, babies, teacher. Babies, okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, anybody else wants to share what your favorite are? For me, babies too. Babies, okay. All right. Question four, do you think everyone should have children? Toddlers. Or it's optional, it's a personal decision. Yeah, it's an option. Because... Yeah, yeah. Not everybody's under the same circumstances. Okay. No. Exactly. How many children should people have? Two, three, For me, two. Only two. Okay. A boy, no, a girl. More than two. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, what's your opinion of people who choose not to have children? Is it good? Is it bad? What do you think? It's a great. Yep. It's good. It's, it's, uh -huh. The people is, uh, has a liberty and the people don't have children. They enjoy uh, their life, maybe. Yeah, yeah, they enjoy themselves more. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, and um, number 10, let's go to the last questions. We don't have more time already. Is it better to have children or not to have them? What do you think? In this particular moment of history? <laughs> mm, in this moment of the history, <laughs> uh, it's not good to have them. Yeah. It's not good to have them, and it's a bad time. Uh, but in other circumstances, um, be good. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Anybody else has another opinion? No? Okay, so if you don't have um, any opinions, questions, or comments, we're going to stop right here. Once again, thank you for making the time, the space, and I will see you tomorrow. Same place, same time. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.